unless you really want to. You can come out. Come out. <laughs> yeah, fill the space. Fill the space. Oh, like, please, clearly, please. No, clearly none of you come from the theatre because you would be filling that space. <laughs> filling it. Uh, that's a joke for all the three or four theatre people. Just hide in the shadows. <laughs> now, what I've got here is uh, a couple of questions that I've been going through the news and I found some uh, some particularly stupid news articles. I'm going to ask my guys here some questions and uh, based on their answers, you know, we'll obviously get some points going on. They're going to, if each of you could pick someone from the audience that you feel you want to play for and then the winner of, uh, whoever gets you know, sort of the most points, that person can take off with some free tickets. I'm going to say this one right here. Yeah, yeah, look at that. She likes you. Let me say this lady right here. Yeah? You Aww. get rewarded for sitting in the Which, front, folks? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, when yeah. you're off in the dark oh. like that, it's very hard for us to see you. What time is your show? What time is my show? Yeah. 7.30. What show is it? Yeah, we can both play that. Okay. What time is your show? Uh, no, 15. No, 15. There was a slight clash there. Right. Uh, but, you know, you don't have to tell them which one is your favourite. You just <laughs> we'll organise it in secret and we won't ever tell the other one. Okay, uh, I might start, I'll start off. So, on, uh, so on top of Transformers and G.I. Joe, Hasbro has announced movies for which three of their intellectual properties? Anyone want to take a guess? Who the fuck is Hasbro? They're, they're, uh, they're the company that owns Transformers and G.I. Joe. Barbie? No. I no, that's Mattel. Mattel. Yeah. The Wet uh, Wild the, the 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 uh, Slide, that's an adult movie. Oh, oh fair enough. If only. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want to take a stab? It's just sort of like a kid's toy. Basically. Oh, no. Oh, they, they already did Battleship. Battleship was a movie. I don't know if that's Hasbro, but it was a movie. It was a movie. Was it wasn't terrible. It was, yeah. What's that one with the little ball and the mouse? Scramble, scramble. Oh, I don't know that. I don't think that's think some strange British thing. I think it's called Scramble. I think it's called Mousetrap. Mousetrap. Yeah, like Scramble, Scramble. Scramble. <laughs> <laughs> Much simpler. I can definitely see that. <laughs> <laughs> they've come to that. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Mousetrap, you have no idea what it's about, but no. Scribble, Scrabble, that's yeah, like, I'm on top of that, yeah, I'm all over it. Um, I'll, give, I'll give it back. So, first one is oh, Monopoly. Oh! Ooh. And apparently Kevin Hart is slated to do a song part in it. I'm fucking his prophecy. Isn't that just life? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's well, just, I guess it's just being alive. There's so much aspect of Monopoly that we're explore because originally Monopoly was created to be anti-capitalist. Yeah. And then Hasbro put really their hands on it. And they turned it into Monopoly, and they like screwed the lady out of the rights mm -hmm. to the anti-Monopoly. And now they have a game called Anti-Monopoly, which oh. is basically the version of that game. And Monopoly is like the most capitalist game ever because every brand has a monopoly, and like companies have monopolies. Mm -hmm. Like the the Sydney Luna Park has its own. Stop monopoly. pulling my material. It's <laughs> <laughs> insane. Uh, second one is Play-Doh. I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know what, what the hell is going to be in a Play-Doh movie. And the third one is Furbies, which... Oh, oh. Yeah, right? That's so the, that is the little thing that was in Resident with the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> I think mean, they either had one or they had kids with one and they're like, no, never again. I thought they were dead. It was I just like an hour and a half of people smashing up with hammers. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would pay to watch that. I actually don't know what a Furby is. What is a Furby? So, it's one of those... I don't, I don't know what shape it was supposed to be, but it was like a small furry creature that, yeah, had like floppy and ears. I'm just going to go, I still don't know. And you could, <laughs> the, the idea was you taught it to speak. So it, it spoke in some sort of gibberish, okay. and then it slowly learned to speak over time by the child interacting with it. So a bit like it's having got you to me. That's sounds like Yeah, it's like annoying. real needy. Yeah. My sister yeah. had one, and it's super annoying. Okay. Uh, so that, I guess I, with like... I thought it was Furries for a second. I was like, ooh. <laughs> that's, a different, that's a different adult movie. You don't want to be there an adult. There's a bunch of those movies already. <laughs> that is a, a matted fur. <laughs> <laughs> now, I guess they're seeing, like, because they've got two properties out already, I guess they're seeing the potential of the cinematic universe and they're like, the nostalgic cinematic universe? I don't know, I don't know what they're going for. Um, so Netflix is being sued by two groups. Does anyone know? Either of the Stan and <laughs> Other that, based, based, based on based on recent productions that they put out. Ooh. Ooh. Which productions? Can we get a hint? Well that Yeah, actually you know what? I'll oh. um, but then it'll probably give a show, right? But that's fine. The um, estate of Ted Bundy, where he's just like, <laughs> you have <laughs> really misconstrued <laughs> everything I was trying to do. I'm actually a really great guy. <laughs> 
Sabrina, the Teenage Witch, oh. and um, Black Mirror, the the most recent Black Mirror Bandit Snatch. Well, no, no, no. So that um, the, do, do we want to take any more guesses about what? You know, what the, so is it who the person is that's suing them or why? Is it the same person? No, it's two different bosses. So it's not like RNG Comics or something? No, no, no. I just, yeah. I, I get all of my news from um, John Stewart's Daily Show, and since he hasn't posted in a few years... <laughs> you get to know. Yeah, that's right. Way behind. You're missing everything. Way behind. That's a Netflix, you said. You should check out Full Frontal. So the base is pretty cool. So the okay. first one, I'll give the base pretty cool. Full Frontal's yeah. great. Uh, yeah, Full Frontal's very good. Yeah. I highly recommend. Uh, so the Satanic Church is based for for the, the inclusion of the statue of uh, Baphomet, which was created in a 2014 Indiegogo campaign that they paid. So the design that they created was replicated inside the show. And they're not happy about the representation of the Satanic Church. Mm -hmm. So they just you don't hear that a lot, do you? <laughs> they get a bad yeah. rap going. Get a bad rap. <laughs> anyway, I've got a meeting uh, starting after this. <laughs> Based on the fact that it's Bandit Snatch, who do you think might be suing? Oh, everybody with a snatch. We're going to do that. I signed up for that class action. <laughs> and oh, that's my snack band. Bad who snatch? No, it's the... The parent company of the Choose Your Own Adventure books. I, yeah. I thought about it. Yeah. There, yeah. They're called Choose Co. Mm -hmm. And it's because they trademarked the name Choose Your Own Adventure, which gets name dropped in the show. And they are saying that it's a stain on their brand because it's, I don't know, like, spoiler alert if you haven't watched Bandit Snatch, there's a lot of murder and there's a lot of death in it. And um, because like, it's a, a Black Mirror episode, basically, the only way that you could get a Good ending is to do all the bad things. Like well, anyone's reading uh, Choose Your Own Adventure books anymore. When was the last time they had one of those? Well, they're still in business, and I guess this is maybe the the, the big go because they're suing for twenty five million. So I think they're like, this will put us back in the game. Finally, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a big one. Um, we'll get a new roof for our nerd burrow. <laughs> That's what they live in is burrows. <laughs> Uh, all right. So, what unconventional method did an Irish man use to try and cure his back pain? Drinking. Uh -huh. That's conventional, yes. Yeah. It's not that unconventional. Mm. Um, I'll give you a clue. It's based on a Being bodily fluid. Being an Englishman. Fluid. <laughs> it's based on a bodily fluid. It's for anything that it's based on a bodily Irish. fluid. Yeah. Is, um, it, is it cum? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> what is that cum? <laughs> That. So he was doing monthly injections of his own semen. What? Injections? Injections. So he's reversed the traditional use of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah. This, Just it, like a man, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's coming. coming. It's 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 because he had this weird, like, lump on his arm, which was essentially not at all. Because he wasn't even injecting properly. He was just sort of sticking it in. And so he managed to get a bunch of it in, like, muscle tissue and in random areas. I mean, it's probably better than, like, going straight to the veins, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was, oh, yeah. Very, very unhealthy man. You don't want to die from, like, a cum clot on your brain, do you? No. No, that's... <laughs> Somewhat embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, so he, this case has been published in a medical journal because it's a medical first. Like they've never seen a case which I think it's a, a medically first reported. I reckon this has happened before. <laughs> People were just like, like, no, that's not telling us. I'm gonna have to do with this. Yeah. <laughs> so I, you can't, you I can't have like the buddies from work like know about this. <laughs> Um, Time we live in. <laughs> right? The world is amazing. This could happen and then we could all learn about it. <laughs> we got two more questions. And we'll see where we're at. Uh, so a six hour standoff in a California petrol station was brought to a halt after a police robot brought what item to the criminal? Pizza? 
<laughs> no, it's a good guess though. That's not close, but it's a good guess. Uh, marijuana cigarette? Closer. Oh! Mm. Uh, I feel like I just got a point for our team. Yeah. A needle filled with cum? <laughs> <laughs> Heck, he was, uh, he was working out. Uh, no, no. He, it brought a vape pen. Hey! <laughs> so I'm gonna give that to you. Hi! <laughs> and then the police were like, let's just shit. So, uh, <laughs> this is what happened. Speaking to the Canadian, fix it. <laughs> yeah. He, there was a six hour siege, and the guy had like doused the uh, petrol station in petrol. And he had asked for cigarettes, and they were reluctant to give him cigarettes, of course, because he doused the place in petrol. Uh, so, as like a compromise, they asked if he was okay with taking a vape pen instead. And he was. And then the siege was over. Like, that's what ended the siege. This robot came in and delivered a vape pen. So, a vape that's pen. what happens when you tax cigarettes so highly, guys. <laughs> Uh, and one last one. So a man won a one dollar from a scratchy ticket, and he was granted a request by the lottery company. Can anyone guess what the request was? One dollar. That was really a request. <laughs> you won it. A needle filled with semen. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have that much money. So he won a dollar. He won a dollar, and, and he made a specific request. Oh, did he want it like all in like pennies? No, I like, <laughs> Which I like totally where you're going with that. Exists. It's not like a terrible guess. It's quite like it's awesome. the delivery of the money is in a, a strange form. Ah, uh, did, did he want the? Yeah, that's it. That's what we're going for. It was a giant novelty check. Oh no, I was going to say oh. drone. <laughs> <laughs> it was a robot. Police robot brought it to him. <laughs> He insisted on a giant novelty check, and <laughs> and they were like, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, even though it costs more than the dollar to make the giant novelty check, but I think it's smart on their behalf because that's like they're just getting a good puff piece out of it like that. Yeah. That's really smart advertising. They're like, all right, sweet, yeah, we're going, we're going with that. And he gets a photo in the newspaper, and they're like, go play our lotto. Look how nice we are. <laughs> but is that like? <laughs> Is that a great advertisement for the lottery? You too could win one dollar. <laughs> Everybody's a winner. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're basically out of time, guys. So uh, Pam Ryan is our big winner today. And so, what was it? Over here? There's someone over here. No, you. It was you. Yes. Yeah, so I'll have a chat to you guys in a second. Uh, but please give it up for all my guests. Please go see them in the festival.